Hmm. Now, I seen this day one when they first saw the trailer. I want my YouTube hiatus. I had all this stuff to do. I was chilling. And I was just checking this out like, you know, do I care about this? No. This one guy commented on the, um, like on a video stating that is he the only guy in the world that don't care about it? I'm like, well, to be honest with you, I don't care about the system either. So I'm like, then why are you here? I'm like, well, to see if I actually cared. Meaning, you go and look at something to see if it appealed to you. And then when it don't appeal to you, you couldn't care less about it. It's just how it is. Now, I ain't saying that this is a bad console. It just, it just appealed to me at this moment. I mean, people going crazy about, oh my god, Skyrim. However, they did not confirm that Skyrim nor NBA 2K will be actually on the 3DS. I mean the 3DS, on the, the Switch. Ugh, the NS. But anyway, they actually did not confirm that. People going crazy because of Skyrim, a game that coming on the PS4 to the Xbox One. And I suppose you're going to be able to party play on the Scorpio. And we already know you're going to be able to play on the PlayStation Pro. I want to pick up a Switch just to play a game that I could have been playing on my PS3 already. Or wait to get the PS4 port. I'm not going to get a Switch because NBA 2K. I mean, I don't know what the fuck is up with these people going off. I mean, just going insane. Like, what type of third support it going to have? Third party support. Even though it, it need it. But then again, why would you care? Now, we are asking that is, most likely you got a PS4, a PC, uh, uh, Xbox One. You got something other than a Nintendo console. A Nintendo console is always secondary. If it's not, God bless your fucking soul. But anyway, the name is Cassie. Like, how about you switch to the switch? You know, it's just, it's just Cassie. They did a good job with that. The design... I guess they say, you know what, our handheld so like 54 million uh, units, so if we combine handheld with a console, maybe we can get the handheld games on the console as well. Which well, party would be big? I know you look like, okay, they shine. But third, uh, third party do matter though. Despite anything I just said accurately, I know y'all still on that third party thing. It does. However, that should not be a selling point, though. Why would you care? Why would I want to play a port of something I already got? I'm playing Nintendo for Nintendo games, to be honest with you. Now, if you want that to primarily be your system, and then you will actually care about that. But I got a PS4. I will have a PlayStation Pro. I'm not going to get the straight to play NBA 2K or Skyrim. I'm just saying. Um. Now... We know that you'll be able to play a Zelda game, which look pretty good. A new Zelda game look awesome. Now, they actually bring Smash, a Pokemon, a new Mario Kart, something of that sort. I might be like, damn, should I pick this up? They throw in a few JRPGs. I might be like, damn, I want to play a new Dragon Crest. But then again, Nintendo going to miss this one thing that people are not bringing up. The reward system. The Xbox got the achievements, Prince got the trophies. Would Nintendo have this? Cause the lack of a, a a reward system, it's like a like for trophy hunters or achievement hunters. I don't know. It's just feel like I'm playing a PS2 game. Like once I beat the game, it's done. There is no other reason to play it again. More people just don't care about trophies. Some people do. Do it is gonna have a reward system on it. That is one thing I uh, actually think about how the internet gonna work for this thing. On the go, how you gonna what you gonna do? Be able to use a hotspot for your cell phone. So you gotta pray I add this no. Well, I got Sprint, so that shit about twenty nine ninety nine a month just to have a hotspot, and then that's only what ten gigabytes, twenty gigabytes, something of that sort. So the on the go experience will be mostly single down player. I don't know how this gonna work. To be honest with you, I I'm not gonna get this day. I, if I would, if I wanted to get this, I wouldn't get it day one. Also, this was a letdown, but then again, back with um 
capabilities. Now, with the PS4, ain't, though, you know, you can't play the PS3 games on the PS4 unless you play the PS now. And some people was like, I'm going to play PS3 games on my PS4. I got a PS3 still. I got a PS2 as well. Um, I would still have a PS1, but I gave that to my little sister back in the day because I to be honest with you, the PS4 had, the PS2 had backup capability, but to be honest with you, once I get a new system, I kind of don't play on the old one, I'm trying to bring myself back to play on the PS3, to beat them games that I got to beat, but other than that, I, that's why I'm not getting a pro, that you, um, completely content with finishing most of my PS3 games and finishing my PS2 game. I mean, not PS2, I'll be everything on PS2. But finish my PS3 and PS4 games. I gotta get those all out the way or I won't probably won't never touch the damn system again. Who knows? That's just how I am sometimes. Now, now people complain about the lack of battle capability just because you're a fucking Wii U. And most of you guys already got 3DS. Why do you care? Personally, for those who don't have 3DS, I, I would actually thought that this would work with 3DS. I guess they didn't want the 3DS to become obsolete. Awesome so that why they didn't decide to do that. But that would been epic, though. Because they said, oh, all 3DS games work on that. That shit would have been a huge sell for those who don't have a 3DS. I want them. So, for those who actually do have one and complain about this, shut the fuck up. But those who don't have one, that would be epic. I mean, like, they have get all the new Pokemon. Shit, I could grab Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I could, you know, I could, so many games I could just grab. Like, all the JRPGs that got, like, Brave Story and shit like that. I'm like, that shit would be epic. That shit would have been epic if you were able to do all that. But you can't, so... I don't know. The game that they show, well, I believe they show a new Splatoon, for Splatoon 2. I think they show oh, the Mario Kart, I'm not mistaken. Not to mention, we should have a new Super Mario, like Super Mario Galaxy a little bit. And then we seen Skyrim and Ultimate Game Boy 2K, so they will have three Nintendo games. Not a bad launch, but you launch it after the Pro and before the Scorpio. I got a feeling that it's not going to be as powerful as the other two consoles. And for this generation, it seems like a lot of people care about power. Even though, the, even though this is like the first time in a long time that the most powerful console won because the PS4 dominated out the gates. But we still see what the internet, the, 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 the damn. The Switch could actually do on the market. Only time going to tell. I can't say it's going to fail. I can't say it's going to be successful due to the fact that I can't tell the future. But anyway, tell you guys, thank you for your rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.